I've been doing art since I was very little. I have lots of drawings from when I was, you know, seven, eight, nine, through to my teen years. I've always done it. Uh, as I got older and uh, into adulthood, I, I did a lot of stuff with pen. Then I did a bit of painting, but I really didn't do a lot of painting until I was much older, over 40. This whole painting journey actually began the day after I started working at the United Way. It all happened after that. And so this, this arc is almost two years old now. May long weekend of 2014, I wandered into the back alley where I discovered that my shed, my, my studio had been tagged. And in the moment I, you know, it was spring, it was beautiful. I thought, gosh, it'd be nice to paint something big again. Instantly, my brain went to Elsie Yannick, a picture, an image in my, in my head that was a beautiful picture of Elsie. I said, that's what I'm going to paint. A couple weeks later, uh, Justin Trudeau was in town, and I just playfully sent him a, a, t a, tw a tweet to say, you should come and get your selfie with Elsie. Well, he did. He was quite moved by the, uh, the, the mural and some of the words that are scribed in the mural. Uh, there's a, a prayer on there that uh, he said, this is exactly what I spoke at my brother's funeral. So it was, a, it was a really touching moment. When I do tribute paintings, particularly ones of quote unquote real people, there's always a risk, I, I think, of, of how are people gonna react? At first, when I was being attacked on Twitter, I laughed. Um, I thought it was funny, but then it, sinks in a little bit because it became more and more uh, personal. And uh, as a former politician, you know, you, you try to grow a thick skin, but you know what, no matter what you say, you could say, oh, it doesn't matter. It always matters. It, you know, you, you don't want people attacking you, especially something as personal as, as my painting, because it's something I devote a tremendous amount of time to and a lot of heart to. The other piece of it is I've shared that journey all along the way. It's just a personal choice. It's what I do. It's what I've always done. I write about it. I post things about it. I let people into the narrative of my progress and my, and, and my process. And it's, it's resulted in something that is completely unexpected, that has changed and affected lives, that has connected me uh, to families across Canada in a really beautiful way. There have been occasions, particularly when I was painting the victims of the Lalash tragedy, when I did get emotional. And the reason I did was the, the realization in the middle of the process that the two boys who had been killed and who I was busy painting were the same age as my sons. And that was really tough. But at the same time, for me, it was a, a wonderful reminder of the resiliency of the human spirit. Because after I painted the first boy that night, um, his mom, who had lost her only two kids, sent me the most beautiful message. In the, in the pit of her despair, she had the courage and the grace to reach out and, and say kind things to me about what I was doing. It was one of the most powerful things I've, I've ever experienced. I, I just think it's an honor, an honor to be invited into uh, the inner circle of families during a very, very profound period when they're grieving, grieving a loss of a loved one. One thing about art is that it takes time. And I couldn't do any of this if I didn't have the moral support of my family. There's no way. I mean, if I was getting stressed about the amount of hours I spend in here every time I came out here, this wouldn't have happened. Uh, it really wouldn't have. And I believe that I'm, I'm on the path I'm meant to be on. And I think anybody, I don't care whether you're a photographer or a sculptor, a writer, it doesn't matter. If you give it everything and you trust that it's the path you're meant to be on, beautiful things will happen.